just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the 32 yard line it's a great play by the defense but it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line they just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all second down and 11 ball on the 32 they bring him down coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that don't be surprised if coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better Cedar and he can't make the grab. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Hayton is back awaiting the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Cougars have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road from their own 36-yard line. Second down. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. They come out in a five-wide set. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. They get four yards on the halfback option. And they got him for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 46. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Crockett is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Booming kick. Touchback. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Check, check. 
runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. It's second and 13. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Peyton is the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. Peyton fields it to 41. Oh, what a hit. He showed a good burst there. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before. his way to about the 28. From the 28-yard line, first down. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Setting up the play action. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent on that play. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, start. offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's up. And he got it. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The Cougars are looking downright scary on defense so far. Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They make the stop at the 49. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Nice run up 
the middle. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. From the 40-yard line, first down. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3-0, Cougars. To the action now here in the second quarter. Mike Ford. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Going deep. Lays it out there. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. the extra point. A six-play, 66-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Brought down at the 23. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They come out in an empty backfield. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. They're about four yards away here on second down. Open field. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. All on the 44-yard line. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And they hit him in the backfield. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. In the shotgun and five wide out. Got it with room to run. Touchdown! Oh. 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 Excellent. 
excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point, and he hits the PAT. A six-play, 77-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 10-7. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 41. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. to the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. Third down. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 38. He airs it out. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. Designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field for the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and then moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And down he goes at the 30. The Cougars struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Second down and seven. Ball on the 33-yard line. Quick throw. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Zips it to the tight end. And down he goes around the 46-yard line. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. From the 46-yard line, first down. at the 42-yard line. Four yards gained. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. They'll line up with five wide receivers. The ball pops free. Scooped up by the defense. That's a 
pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From the 44-yard line, first down. They hook up over the middle, and he hits him hard at the 28. Still moving. He's all the way. Touchdown. He's already thrown for three scores. Defense better make some adjustments, and they need to make them now because this passing attack is making a highlight film right now. Splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 55-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The score now, 21-10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Pick up two on the pass play. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Rifles it to the right. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of fight and character they have to try to get back in the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He sails it long. Missed him. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 21, 10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. All week long, when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including...
some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf or some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if it's got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that, and I could be more impressed with how they've carried it over the quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they have been able to maintain that into this second half. They played lights out in the first half. They just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws it in a hurry. One yard on the play. And a great job of not allowing this explosive freshman to do anything with the ball after the catch. and 10. Ball on the 38. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the... He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure to get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. and he carries the ball for a nice game they're about four yards away here on third down There's a play fake. Waits. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Peyton is back to receive. Oh, excellent punt. The punt at the 20. Tackle at the 31. Pretty good job by the return man there. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And the halfback 
carries for a pickup of three. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Crockett is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 16. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. Really go. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. And they make the stop at the 14. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 14. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. around the 42-yard line. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. First and goal after that huge run. Gets to about the five-yard line. Third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with a jacket. Gets it away, and it's a touchdown. He makes it four scoring passes. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone. Down for... Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start. Now. This offense has to get rolled. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Brought down around the 35-yard line.
Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. From their own 40 line, it's first down, five wide. With a quick throw. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. at the 20 and he is drilled at the 18. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 28 17.